You can learn how to work a series parallel circuit by asking yourself two simple questions. First of all, if you're working a series parallel circuit and you're not exactly sure where to start, if you'll ask yourself, do I see two or more resistors in series? If the answer is yes, you're going to combine those resistors, redraw the circuit, and then go back to question number one and ask yourself again, do I see two or more resistors in series? If the answer this time is no, then go to question number two. Here you'll ask yourself, do I see two or more resistors in parallel? If the answer is yes, you'll combine them, redraw the circuit, and then go back and ask yourself that question again, do I see two or more resistors in parallel? If the answer this time is no, then you go back to question number one. And you'll keep asking yourself these two questions and repeating this procedure over and over until I've got my series parallel circuit simplified down to a simple total resistance. As an example, let's, let me show you what I'm talking about here. We'll take a voltage source. And what I'm doing here is electron theory. I'm not going to work with numbers right now. I just want to work with uh, basically learning how to find the total resistance of a circuit, of a series parallel circuit. Now looking at our questions, the first question is, do I see two or more resistors in series? The second question is, do I see two or more resistors in parallel? Now let's look at this particular circuit here. I've got a resistor R1, a resistor R2, a resistor R3, and a resistor R4. Now, if I was working this circuit, and the very first thing you must do is find the total resistance of the circuit. Once I find the total resistance of the circuit, then I can find the total current of the circuit. Then you can start working your way through the circuit, finding the various currents and the various voltage drops. I have another video that you can look at that explains a, a, a complete series parallel circuit and how I find the currents and the voltages. But as I said before, right now I just want to concentrate on uh, how to combine the resistors uh, to simplify down to one total resistance. So looking at my circuit here with these four resistors, my first question is going to be, do I see two or more resistors in series? Now looking at this particular circuit, R1 is not in series with two or three. R1 is out here by itself. R4 is also out here by itself. So the answer to my question number one is actually going to be no. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to question number two. Question number two says, do I see two or more resistors in parallel? Well, R2 and R3 I know are in parallel because you see how they share two common points. And I know that parallel resistors share common, two common points. So the question here says, if, if the answer is yes, which it is, you combine the circuit and then redraw the circuit. So what that means is I'm going to combine R2 and R3, here's R1, here's R4. Now I'll combine R2 and R3, and if you remember the formula for parallel resistors, I'm kind of assuming here that you, you already know that. Uh, but we're just now studying right now just how to combine series and parallel resistors in a series circuit. So once I combine two and three into an equivalent resistance here, this will be R2 in parallel with R3. And once you combine, if you look here, combine and redraw, then it says to go back to question number two. So I'll ask myself again, do I see two or more resistors in parallel in the, in the new circuit I have here? The answer is going to be no, so I go back to question number one. It says, ask myself, do I see two or more resistors in series? Well, looking at my redrawn circuit, I'll see that R1 now is in series with this equivalent resistance of two and three, which is also in series with the equivalent resistance of R4. So in this circuit, all my resistors are in series, so I will combine them into one equivalent resistance. And this will actually equal the total resistance for the circuit. If you remember the formula for uh, series resistors is simply you add them 
together. Let's work another one. Remember these questions. Let me erase some of this. Remember our questions, two or more in series, two or more in, in parallel. I'm not going to draw a voltage source just for the sake of time. R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, and R6. I'm going to start with the first question, and I'm going to ask myself, do I see two or more resistors in series? Well, looking at this circuit, and let me say this. When I'm talking about resistors in series, I mean this. There's no connecting point, no junction, nothing in between two resistors. So, yes. 2 and 3 are in series, and 4, 5, and 6 are also in series. So the question says, do I see two or more in series? If yes, you combine those resistors using the series resistor formula, then you redraw the circuit. When I redraw this circuit, this will be R1. This right here will be R2 in series with R3. And this resistance is going to represent R4 in series with R5 in series with R6. So what I'll do now is I'll go back to question number one and ask myself, do I see two or more resistors in series? In this particular circuit, no, there are not two or more resistors in series. So I go to question number two. Do I see two or more resistors in parallel? Well, I sure do. Remember, this resistance here we found by combining these two in series. This resistance we found by combining these three in, in series. Now these two are in parallel. This is R1. Then R2 and R3 in series. R2 and R3 in series. And both of those are in parallel with R4, which is in series with R5, which is in series with R6. Now I'll go back to the question number two and say, do I see two or more in parallel in the circuit? No. So I go to question number one. Do I see two or more resistors in series? I sure do. These two. So when I take R1 and add to this equivalent resistance here, I'll get the total resistance for the circuit. Remember our questions. Do I see two or more in series? Do I see two or more in parallel? Let's try one more. And we'll call this R1. R2, R3, R4, R5, and R6. Remember our questions. Do I see two or more in series? Do I see two or more in parallel? First question, do I see two or more in series? Well, let's see. Yep, five and six are in series. Now, three and four are not in series. Remember, Series resistors are going to look like that. I'm sorry. Are going to look like that. Three and four has got a junction right here. So three and four are not in series. R1, R3, R5 are not in series because there's junctions here. In this particular circuit, five and six are the only two in series. So the question says combine and redraw. This is R1. This is R2. This is R3, this is R4, 
Then I combine the 5 and 6 by adding them together, like you do series resistors, and I'll get an equivalent resistance there. Now you go back to question number 1, do I see two or more in series in this circuit? The answer is no, so you go to question number 2, do I see two or more in parallel? Yes, right here. So using the parallel resistor formula, I'll combine R1 and R2. I'm sorry, I'll bring them down, I didn't mean combine. This is R3. Now I combined R4 and this equivalent resistance, and you'll get another equivalent resistance here. And then I go back and ask myself, do I see two or more in parallel in this circuit? The answer is no. This R2 and this equivalent resistance are not in parallel because R3 is in between them. So I'll go to question number one. Do I see two or more in series? I sure do, right here. So I'll combine. This will be R1. This is R2. And then when I combine R3 and that equivalent resistance, I'll get yet another equivalent resistance. Then I ask myself the next question. Do I see two or more in parallel? I sure do. This will be R1. When I combine R2 and R, this equivalent resistance in parallel, I'll get yet another equivalent resistance. Now I'll ask myself, do I see two or more in series? Yep. The last two. I combine those, and this will be the total resistance for my circuit. I'm confident if you spend some time and memorize these questions, when you tackle a series parallel circuit and you go through these questions and these steps, I think you'll have no problem at all working out the total resistance for a series parallel circuit.